So we've headed over to San Pedro today. Uh, we're about to jump on a boat over to Pana and uh, we're gonna go and check out the nature reserve. So we finally made it to Pana on the other side of the lake. Uh, we're here to go to the nature reserve that is just outside town. Uh, the trip here wasn't too bad, it's only half an hour on the boat, so it's okay. The only thing is that these boats, they only leave uh, whenever the boat is completely full. So yeah, we had to wait about 40 minutes <laughs> to wait for uh, every people to come on board and then uh, we finally left. When we arrived, we decided it would be nice to walk to the reserve, as it's only about one and a half kilometers from the port. Unfortunately, we discovered quickly that there is a busy main road with no footpath between Panajachau and the reserve, so we decided in the end to take a tuk-tuk which cost 20 quetzal. There were some fantastic views as we travelled along the coastline before eventually making it to the reserve. So we've made it, uh, we were going to walk it but as we got onto the road it's really steep and it's a big main road to, to get there, it's not very far at all from the port but um, we just got a tuk tuk in the end and it cost what 20 quetzal, Yeah, it's not much. So yeah we're in, um, ticket price was 70 quetzal each, uh, so that's like 7 quid each, so it's not too bad but um, yeah it looked amazing so let's, let's go and explore. So now we're going to go and head into the Mariposario which is the butterfly House. Yeah, I think, think so, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what that's like. The first attraction in the park to visit is the Butterfly House, situated in a large geometric dome. The space hosts up to a thousand butterflies of 12 different species and is really impressive. Some of the larger species of butterfly in the house need at least 10 metres of height to have a comfortable space to thrive in, which gives you an idea of the size of this structure. It really was amazing to see such a concentration of beautiful butterflies. We could have spent hours in there taking photos. So we've just left the butterfly house. Really nice, really nice. Just packed full of butterflies, as you'd expect. Um, yeah, hopefully we got some nice video footage. They're so quick, it's quite difficult. But, uh, but yeah, we're gonna go and try and find one of the trails now. Apparently they've got um, some groups of monkeys here. So yeah, go and see if we can find them. From the visitor centre, there are a few trails you can decide to take. We wanted to take on the longer of the two trails into the reserve, which you can complete in an hour comfortably. It crosses multiple bridges and passes some beautiful waterfalls. The second trail is slightly shorter and only takes around 40 minutes. At the start of both trails is the viewing platform, looking out into an area of the reserve where the highest concentration of monkeys can be seen. So we saw one monkey just for a second, but it was really far away, so uh, yeah, we're on the hunt. 
not actually hunting, but to see one. We saw a couple of monkeys so far, but they were really far and we weren't able to shot any yet. Shot as in, shot in. At the highest and furthest point into our hour-long trail through the reserve, you can really get a sense that there is some incredible nature all around. The noise from the tuk-tuks in town and the boats on the lake are replaced with some really interesting bird calls and rustling from different animals hiding in the treetops. We've done the long trail, which was about an hour. It wasn't too bad. Uh, it's really easy. It's really easy, but it's really beautiful. You go right up to the top of the mountain and then back down. Um, so we're gonna head back to the viewing platform, see if we can find some monkeys. So monkey update. We've officially seen one. I think might have seen another one. Oh yeah. So we've seen a few monkeys now. They're definitely here. Um, it's really difficult to catch them on the GoPro. They're, they're just obviously always on the move and it's really thick, really thick foliage. Uh, so Marty's got a reflex and uh, hopefully we can get some good shots. Yeah, it's really difficult to get them on camera, but there's lots there. Finally got to see some monkeys. Uh, really amazing. It's so nice seeing them in a natural environment. Um, yeah, they were lovely. But I mean, the, the park is, is amazing it anyway. Is, yeah. yeah. So cool. Other than the fact that you know you've got the the, the, the animals here to see in the natural in their sort of natural habitat. Um, but yeah, the trails are beautiful. It's a really nice park. Uh, it's worth coming to. I think really worth coming to. So yeah, we checked, and it looks like all the profit as well goes to into maintaining the park because apparently they don't get any support from the government or anything like that. So yeah, the entrance fee is only seven pounds, so that's really good. And uh, yeah, really worth visit. It's amazing. So we're gonna start making our way back to San Pedro now. Hopefully you enjoyed our little mini tour of the uh, nature reserve here. Uh, if you did, don't forget to subscribe, hit the little bell for notifications. All comments and likes are appreciated. So yeah, thanks for watching. Yeah.